The guy who slagged the football team, those jobs were not for him. He turns into a real estate agent who believes in discipline. The guy who's first to use cocaine, the wild boy breaking free. He'll end up in a court of law as a prosecuting QC. Remember the school captain? Success was a matter of time. I can hear her now as she screams. Greg, you missed the stop sign. Forget Snoop Doggy Dog. Forget Old Ice Tea. The true word out on the streets is produced by the DAC. What's the use of striving? Last road in front of rebels. We get to do the driving. Don't choose the direction we travel. Do your homework and whack for weeks. Completely the damn not lie. It don't matter much when you hear that scream. Greg, you missed the stop sign. Greg, the stop sign. Stop sign. Break the stop sign. Break the stop sign. Sometime in the next 10,000 years, a comet's gonna wipe out all trace of man. I'm banking on it coming before my end of year exam. The rich kid becomes a junkie. The poor kid an advertiser. What a tragic waste of potential. Being a junkie's not so good either. Your folks worked hard for what you got. You were the fruit of their vine. Who cares what you sow and what you reap?
see fox trot your chance away Ladies and gentlemen, Ron Hitler Barassi! It was at that very bar when I had my worst trip. It was only last Saturday. I'd come to the grip with Keegan and Troy and a few other skegs. When this weird dude, he comes up to me and he says, I got some leaf the other day up at Byron, a couple of cones. You want to try them? Now... I know I was pissed and the light's pretty bad, but I looked at this dude, and it was my dad. I was speechless. I stayed, rigid with fright. He said, do you know Evan fucked Carly all Friday night? His hair was in dreads. His t-shirt said slam. I couldn't believe this was my old man. I'd seen him every day, hanging around with bankers. Tis and play here next Saturday, he said. They're wankers. But, 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 Dad, I stammered. You're, you're, I mean, I mean, you're not. Just then, my Uncle Leroy came up. Whoa, he said. Awesome pot. I looked around this club. My sight, it was hazy. But there was Aunt Ethel and Uncle Fred and wife Daisy. My eyes finally focused on this host of drug takers. My whole family was here. And they turned into skaters. Got a lash, dude, said Dad. Can't afford to linger. I gotta get your mum home for a bit of stink finger. I fainted right there in a swoon on the floor. Keegan and Troy, they took me out by that very door. Was like watching a movie from end to beginning was like forcing Michael Jackson to fuck older women. It was all in reverse. It was a horrid contrast. It was like seeing Jennifer put the coke bottle up Johnny Jackson's ass. And I woke up this morning and it was all normal again. Listen, son, said Dad. I want you home by 10. You were raving last night. Your friends are all thugs. You are so out of it. I think you're on drugs. I grabbed his hand and said, Dad, thank God it's you, and you're telling me off. Oh, Dad, I love you. Smart ass. He muttered, and he went off to work. The same boring, normal, conventional jerk. So, skaters and skegheads and surfers, be warned. Thank God for parents and teachers and policemen uniformed. Remember as you slag them off and you cuss when you're forced to do homework and at the next drug bust. I had a vision of a world even more sus. Remember, it would be worse if they acted like us.